welcome back to your favorite inorganic data youtube channel once again we are going to look at hyperbolic functions right then we look at the identities of the hyperbolic functions so right here is um the hyperbolic function for sine which is e power x minus e power minus x all over two then the hyperbolic function for cosh is e power x plus e power minus x all over two right now we have to look for the hyperbolic function for tangent, right? And we know that tangent is sine over cos, right? So we have tangent x is equal to sine x all over cos x, right? And right here we have sine here, we have cos here. So what we do is that e power x minus e power minus x all over 2, all over this right here all over two so when you do proper simplification you're going to have e power x minus this all over two times two all over e power x plus e power minus x right so this takes off this we are going to have e power x minus e power minus x all over e power x plus e power minus x and this right here is the hyperbolic function for tangent right so let's look at the hyperbolic function for cot right we know that cot is one over tangent so whatever we have right here is going to be one over this particular function then we get the cot right so one over this and that is going to turn this upside down and we're going to have e power x right so the hyperbolic function for the court is going to turn this upside down because it's one over tan x, right? So we are going to have one over this, and this will turn up. So we have e power x plus e power minus x all over e power x minus e power minus x. And this right there is the hyperbolic function for court. So we move on to look at the hyperbolic function for search right and we know that set is one over cos one over cos right so in this right here so the fifth one is going to be the hyperbolic function for search right so search x is equal to one over what cos Right, so what we have to do is that we have to take the reciprocal of this particular function right here, right? And that is going to be, is going to take this one upside down, right? So we are going to have um, two over this function, right? E power x plus e power minus x. And that is the hyperbolic function for search. So we go on to look for the next hyperbolic function, which is the cosh, right? And we know that cosh is one over sine, right? One over sine. So we are going to have the sixth one, the hyperbolic function for cosh x, and that is equal to one over sine x, right? So we have right here the reciprocal of this, and that is equal to two over e power x minus e power minus x and that is the hyperbolic function for um cosec s so this follows the identities of the hyperbolic functions you know in the trig functions the identities we don't uh the order or the position of the sign and the cos doesn't matter but in here the position of the functions really matters so it's very important how you position the the cosh and then the shine right so right here cosh squared minus uh shine squared is equal to one the reason is if you bring this first shine first and you go and subtract this from this then you have different identities altogether that means you are forming your own identity so make sure the cosh comes first followed by the shine right and then in the trick, we remember that the identity was one plus tan squared s cos check squared s, right? And this right here is now one minus tan squared s equals set squared s, right? And then 
in the previous one it was plus for this right over here is cot square s minus one equals cosec squared s right so it follows that way these are derivative from this one so this ones this first three are the most important ones you have to uh, really really take care of them and then you know them off head so that you can use them to prove the uh, hyperbolic uh, inverse hyperbolic functions right so thank you very much for watching uh, i really appreciate your time the next upload is going to be the inverse hyperbolic functions right bye